he's been called one of the most important men in Spanish history. Adolfo Suarez, not only Spain's former prime minister, but the architect of its modern democracy. In 1976, he was chosen by King Juan Carlos to lead the country after the death of the fascist dictator, General Francisco Franco. His appointment was controversial because he'd been a part of Franco's regime. But he had charisma and the ability to get opposing sides talking. He legalized previously banned political parties like the communists. Let's push forward the necessary reforms in Spain for citizens to have real freedoms. Suarez led the government until he resigned in 1981. He was in the process of handing over power when there was an attempted coup. Suarez refused to move, even when a gun was held to his head. Last week, he was admitted to hospital with pneumonia, and he'd been suffering from Alzheimer's for a decade. In a statement, King Juan Carlos described Suarez as a loyal friend and exceptional political partner, saying his death caused him great pain. It's a sad day for Spaniards, but it's also a day of tribute to someone who's one of the most important and positive figures in our history. It's time to show our respect and gratitude to the man who made our democracy possible and opened the doors to Europe. Adolfo Suarez died on Sunday in Madrid, aged 81. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.